tell us more about culture. How do you build a culture for the organization that you've created? A lot of culture gets determined just by your um, actions. One of the things that I've seen over time is that um, it's like being a parent a little bit where it doesn't matter really what you say, it just matters what you do. Like you can say like, hey, you know, don't look at your iPhone all day and then if you just sit there and look at your iPhone in front of your kid all day, they'll be like, hey, you know, I guess that's, you know, what I'm going to do. <laughs> so the, the way company cultures get built um, uh, uh, from the leader's, uh, the CEO's point of view, is really what the CEO spends time on. Um, you know, if the CEO says, hey, you know what's really important? Spending time with their family, but then like I sat in the office like around the clock 24-7 and then like people would feel pressure to like be there and, and the rest of it. So you kind of have to be like, okay, like family's important. I'm gonna go home to my family. <laughs> you know, feel free. So a, a lot of it's really just like um, trying to lead by example um, and bring on people that reflect what you're going for. And when you get it wrong, because everyone gets it wrong, when you get it wrong, just own up to it. Um, I, you know, Dan Gilbert's a, another um, friend and mentor to Venture for America, and Dan said something that really I agree with wholeheartedly. It's like whenever you start having doubts as to whether there's a fit, it's never going to work out, <laughs> and, and, uh, and you should make that move as fast as possible. And he said that um, he's been in business now for decades and built literally billion-dollar businesses. And he says that like he's never once made the move too soon. He's always made the move too late. Like he's always let it linger for too long.